Hehe, <laughs> this is what our womb world. Yet another one of Yames' games. You know, the Discover My Body guy. Though I am a Christian man, I have long forsworn any contentment in its primitive superstitions, the mysticism, the rituals. I know they're all articulations of a deeper material fact. Can we show that? I can't tell if I see privates or not. Anyways, in older times it was seen that the order of the scientific world and the perfection of God's plan confirmed each other at every turn. Well, I still believe this may be the case, although in quite an under unorthodox way. My lifelong work has been f to find the origin point of man's fall from grace. It has taken me all over the world, but I believe I am closer than ever than finding the truth. I am heading deep into the ocean, into a region they call Kasparson. I have everything I need in my submersible lab. I hope to find some answers soon. Soon, I will tread out on the holy sea bed where the spirit blew life into the in increate mantle. I oh, freak that means. Okay. I have lit my path with the submersible's lights, and it is a blessed day. Before I leave, I ought to fill up my tank and grab some nets for specimen collection. I'm going to need both if I'm going to do my research. Oh. This room is equal parts detailed and undetailed. So, can I actually interact with things in the window? Okay. Mirror. I'm looking pretty good. And what if this twist at the end was I'm just an eyeball? <laughs> uh, head out. Oh, my hands are awful. <laughs> Even with my lights, it is still quite dark out here. Well, as long as they are on, I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh, it's one of these. Sif silk. I gotta hit E and I'm stupid, I'm sorry. I just have to remember that the entrance back into the lab is the furthest spot south. I hope to find some good specimens here, whether by sifting through the silt or netting some fish. I must remember that the live specimens will try to evade me, but I should not give up hope, as they cannot swim too far away. Why? They're fish, they can go as far as I want. I must also remember that if I sift at one position it would be a waste to sift there again until later. I should try to find one life sample via my net, and also two samples from sifting. That should be sufficient for now. Time to begin. May God guide me. Okay. I didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. Oh. Found a post lapsarian Adamite skull. It looks quite old. It may reveal something. I will study it when I get back to the lab. I get back to the lab and see what's on the slab. I can cure the. I know the cause, but not the symptom. <laughs> uh, that movie sucked. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, it's Rocky Horror. The. the Rocky picture horror show whatever you know what I'm talking about Let's see research I should find more samples before I begin my studies oh okay oh a dive mask likely an older make by the looks of it it only has one large window to see from might be worth looking at back at the lab. Where's those live specimens you spoke of? I mean, the soundtrack's like a motorcycle. I'm just gonna hit escape. 
because my sound disappeared and I think there might be something wrong with it. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I think I may have to restart this. Well, at least I didn't get too terribly far. Okay, hold on. Okay. Now I'm to where I was before I got the dive mask. Oh! Jeez, you scared the living crap out of me. That's the live specimen. She's freaking jump scare flounders. My hands all weird and pink and withered. It's not normal. I'm no doctor. Well, the character's a doctor. Okay, I'll try this again. I'm gonna catch this green flounder. Did I get you? Okay, I did not get it. How the freak am I supposed to do that? Oh. He's migrating. Got him. I'll check out the specimen when I get back to the lab. I've been blessed with a bounty to research. It is time to go back to the lab and begin. I can barely contain my excitement. All of my life's work has led up to this moment. Even though I have been down here but briefly, I can feel God working in my heart and opening my mind. The original sin of man, the original temptation, was that God opening the mind to... <coughs> Excuse me. I am alone here, but I feel the comfort of the Holy Spirit and the connectedness to all things. Oh man, is this going to be like Discover My Body again, where he has like the hive mind thing starting when he gets put in contact with the substance? Oh crap. The human being was made in the image of God, a divine mirror of creation that was made imperfect by our sin. I can feel it. Sometimes in the strangeness of my body, as if I was once connected to the source, and severed from it. Yeah, sure it's God. Sure it's not the other guy. You know, satin. It was as if I was once a thing rooted in a vast hole, but I was completely removed and left to float freely on my own. Am I a plant? Well, as I have said, I should get to work. What's the mirror show now? Okay. Fine, I guess. Research. Beep boop boop beep boop beep. At my school, push the fossilized remains of a son of Adam. Wow. Contains 5% dangerous corruption. By approximate calculations, this human lived for about a millennium and was born 10 generations after the primeval fall. High bone density suggests aquatic lifestyle. Oh. Okay, so it's a gill man. Fascinating. <coughs> Fascinating. This person was extremely close to the source of Genesis to the birth of all creation. They live to be very, very old and have only just a trace of degeneration. The bone density, yes, one of the pillars of aqua edenic studies is that hurriedly man lived underwater. Countless generations have passed in such a time, and the form that, and the form of the sons of Adam, oh, okay, okay, and the form the sons of Adam take now is very different. I can only imagine what it looked like to be so pure, so near to the state of grace. I'm gonna turn into a gill man, I just know it. I'll load up the next sample. Dive mask. Mid 20th century rubber skirted dive masks. With various Christograms, biblical inscriptions, this mask would prove that I am not the first one to explore Gaspar Zone. However, this area is entirely remote, meaning whoever was here was here for a purpose. Judging by the crucifixes on the strap, I imagine explorers were sent here by the church. The good church or the bad church? Like, the kind of church that asks for a minimum of $100 on the collection plate, or the kind that just makes you let you go there no matter who you are. I don't know. There are certain divisions in the papal conclave who are in the know, but some would prefer to occlude the truth from the world. 
were these explorers eliminated by more traditional factions? And what did they discover? Where are they now? I'll take a look at the next sample. Ancient fish. Carbon dating estimation 10,000 years, but it is dead. Laser vivisection yielded fish fed on native coral forms. Hypercalcified bone structure, tensile strength matching modern metamaterials. Amazing, this fish may have very well been alive during the time of the pre deluge patriarchs. This very well may confirm the theory of Gaspar's zone being located in around uh, Ed Edenic ground. But how? Some of suspension of space-time or biological deceleration of the aging process. I must conduct a more extensive search. Soon I should go out for more samples. Well, yeah, the, the, the siren head followed me underwater. What was that? A whale? It sounded even bigger. Whales are pretty freaking big. How the heck do you get bigger than that? Okay. The lights are out? Damn, but something stirs in me. Oh Lord, even in the darkness I know you are with me. Your word is a light to my feet and a lamp to my path. Guide me. What? Aha! Throw you, dingbat! Throw! I want to catch Squidman! Son of Adam, I beseech thee, your forebears abandoned the tree of life and ate of the fruit of knowledge. You walk a contrary path. You will leave this place, or you will exchange one life for another. Die as a man, or join God in full flesh. To hear the voice of your God is to return orig origin word back into the womb where words would fail. Know this now. Yeah, whatever you say. I am but this created messenger. This is all I know. Son of Adam, I beseech thee, I beseech thee, I beseech thee. An angel? An emissary of the Lord. Amazing. The visage even matches the description in the decipher Genesis Acrophion. To see such sights, can it be possible? But what did their message mean? Full flesh and God? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know you could figure this type of crap out, but I, I, I surely freaking can't. I can't postpone my search any longer. I am closer than ever, and I will find the truth. I must find more samples. Okay. Well, that's a little darker. Head out. Time to change it up. I ought to find two live specimens and one object in the cell. Feels if I barely even need oxygen underwater anymore. I'm closer to God than ever. I am turning into the squid man. Got him. I'll check out the specimen in order to get back to the lab. Got him. I'll check out this specimen when I get back to the lab. Excellent. Now I not to go back to the lab to do my research. It has been interesting swimming down here. The dark and gloom is almost a comfort to me. I'm reminded of Moses seeing God in the luminous dark, the undifferentiated undifferen infinitude, incomprehensible to the created mind. But I believe I can know God, and I will know God. It is strange, perhaps it is just exhaustion from my swimming, but I feel a bit dizzy. A beatific lightness has entered my mind. The knowledge I have gained over the years seems to fly from me just at the moment I am learning the ultimate truth. Well, there is nothing to do but press on. Mirror. Ooh, my eyes are black. I'm squid man. Meow, 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 meow. Deathless fish. <laughs> this fish is even older. 
Amazing, almost impossible. There is some common link between this light form and our own. I notice as well this fish as well as the others are lacking eyes. Not unheard of among fish of the deep ocean. But even blind fish can sense the difference between light and darkness. These fish lack that capacity completely. And more of that odd coral is in the gut. What does it mean? There must be some thing. All of the sudden I feel... Uh oh so old and possibly old the ancient days proto-human proteins S secretion of unknown stone substance weird okay seems to spiral out in front of me the in divine plan imprinted in all things how old is it this fish seems to have been close to the origin of life itself I'll look at that the next thing. Red coral, origin unknown, error, studded with proto-human neuron, hyper-capable of creating consciousness field, room of a god, error, error, error. Uh, what does it mean? I can barely read this, my own sight seems to be failing. Perhaps decompression sickness? No man, you're losing your freaking eyes. Could you turn it into the proto-human thing? Like the symbols of the world, they're falling from their place. I feel so... Dyslexic? Blind. The light. Another angel? Oh lord, I can feel your love. How about I... Oh, this is scary. Ha! Ah! No, can't throw a net. Um, hi. <laughs> uh, what? What are you? Water room world. Dot 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 dot. Womb? Hunger. I am, I am hunger. Go and join angels. Join. Man, if that were really true, this is a scary world. Oh, crap. Red talons. Must find it. What? Feet on coral. World's worst ASMR. More. More. What? There's a lot of you now. Okay, you're taller than I first thought. Oh. Hi. Is this the Eye of Sauron? Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it kind of left me in the same state as discover my body, honestly. A little less jump scary, though. I mean, the, the fish suddenly appearing were a little bit. But this one was less jump scary than the other one. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I mean, it kind of gives me the same feeling like... Like, if, have you ever watched 2001 A Space Odyssey? That's kind of what this feels like. <laughs> it's just like... It, it, it plays off of your preconceived notions of how you think things were. And like, you know, whenever it comes to like creation or the beginning of being or the beginning of the universe. Those types of things. And it makes you go like, man, I really hope it's not like that. <laughs> Jesus. If it was, I would... 
that that just sucks. <laughs> Moving on. Dirt. Okay. It's SCP-106. Cannot remember which SCP-106 is. 1162. Euclid. It's the hole. Okay, so I can't interact with any of these things. It's not like containment breach. Oh, person. Can I interact with these monitors in any way? Nope. Alright, pointless room. Is that the gas mask? I think it is. You know what? I'll take it. You know what? Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna take it off. I can't see anything. Okay. Oh well. Now I'm back at the start. Great. It just reboots the freaking game, I guess. Okay, I need a password. Get to your office. Okay. Hi. No. Do you have a face? Sure don't look like it. Okay. Take it this is my office. Oops. This is a breach. And keyboard. Get to SCP-106 chamber. Key card. Okay. Where is the key card, though? It's not in this room, is it? No, that's the old man music. Duh. No. No. I had enough of this in containment breach. I don't want this crap. And. Lovely. Okay, restart. Keycard, keycard, keycard! Oh, no. No, restart. Okay. Right. Left. Left. Well, I'm dead. Maybe I'm not. Okay, I'm dead. Hi. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm fine. Good. Okay, how about left? Yep. Come on, come on, come on. Right. Okay, so right's good. Alright. Ah, schnibbies. Come on, go. Wow, this sucks. You can't follow me in here, old man. It's the ladies' room. Never mind, he can't. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what's backwards? Death. Yep. Well, I give up. It's it's too fast. <laughs> it's really way too fast. Moving on. <laughs>